Hello, we are Nanjelverse Company. Here it's me, Michael, and Livon. Hello. Hi, Livon. So, uh, today I am the voice of this video, and Livon is operator and uh, director, <laughs> basically. So, <clears throat> uh, we are here to announce to you and provide the new tool, uh, the Scrum Puzzle. What is it and why we did this? Why we did this? So it is an interactive tool to learn what this Scrum framework is, and uh, we, as agile coaches and uh, practitioners with at least ten years of experience, uh, both of us, uh, we decided to create our own tool because you know mm, we didn't found uh, the tool that will. Uh, help your students to involve in the process to have a lot of discussions and uh, we created it offline three years ago and uh, we proceeded a hundred times and our colleagues proceeded it <laughs> another several hundred times so we get a lot of positive feedback and we decided to share it to the whole world uh, and make it online and thanks to mirrors it happens now and uh, welcome Scrum Puzzle. So, what is it? What is Scrum Puzzle and what is designed for? Basically, Scrum Puzzle is designed to learn what Scrum Framework is. Scrum is a frame process framework that is designed to create, uh, delivering and sustaining uh, complex products. So, in any, any, you know, domains and businesses. So, uh, we uh, de uh, we designed this tool, this exercise, as a, as a puzzle. You know, everyone w knows what is puzzle. It's uh, when you have a small pieces, put it together, and have a big picture. So well, basically, how this is how Scrum puzzle works. When you need this, when you need this Scrum puzzle, actually, if you want to learn or teach uh, someone, for example, your colleagues, your teams, uh, your maybe even friends, uh, what Scrum is, and, and you used to read it in a you know, interactive way with a lot of discussions, uh, yes, Scrum Puzzle is for you. Uh, when you need to share uh, to share and align what Scrum is and uh, uh, with your friends and, and colleagues again, yes, Scrum Puzzle is for you. If you have a training uh, class or master class or, or a webinar, uh, yes, Scrum Puzzle is for you too. So, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about how does it work. How does Scrum Puzzle work? So, uh, technically, it uh, have a few steps with a detailed facilitator's guide, and we will discuss it later. And uh, this uh, few steps is designed to discuss uh, content of the Scrum. And it is Scrum Core. What is Scrum Core? Scrum Roles, Scrum Events, and uh, Scrum Artifacts and Reflection of Transparency in Scrum. So that's it. Most of these uh, steps will be uh, completed by your students, by your group, and they will have a lot of discussions, a lot of interactions, and through this way they will learn a lot. So that's it. And uh, you know, now we can look closer at each step of Scrum Puzzle. Let's go. Now you can see the board which has all elements of Scrum Puzzle. In the middle, there is a several green sections, which will be completed by your student or group. On the left side, there is a boxes with short instruction, instructions for each step. And on the right side, there is a facilitator's guide that consists of detailed guide through all, em all elements of the exercise. Let's look closer to facilitator's guide. Basically, it's uh, presented with a lot of detailed uh, steps through the whole game and for each step you have an uh, questions 
for ask uh, people and your students. You have uh, examples how should be a puzzle completed. We, you have uh, tips and tricks, etc., etc. And uh, to read this whole guide, you will take about 10 or 15 minutes. So yes, and it has all of the timings, etc., etc., all the uh, things needed to, for the setup. And uh, if uh, this uh, presentation is not enough for you, you can even download this document directly to your PC. So that was an facilitator's guide. And uh, if you're not sure how to go through the games or the, this exercise, uh, please read this uh, facilitator's guide and it uh, definitely should help you. So let's go to the common rules section of the exercise. It's on the left side of the board and it have a common rules for the game that is applicable for all steps. For example, uh, it's uh, focused on that uh, facilitator uh, is driven uh, is driving uh, this um, this exercise and um, uh, you know all students may ask questions at any time and uh, most of the steps uh, is uh, described in facilitators guide so that's all that's most of common rules next step is the uh, course scrum step this is uh, only one section that uh, should be driven directly by facilitator and uh, it's about uh, you know core scrum elements such as values uh, three pillars uh, for example empiricism uh, transparency inspection adaptation etc and uh, how does it work a us facilitator should take uh, one of this uh, uh, orange card, put it on the f at the free space and uh, uh, tell to the group what is it, ask uh, group how uh, does they understand what is it and discuss uh, the meaning of this in Scrum. So after you completed uh, this, all of these orange uh, cards, you can go to the next section. The next section is pretty simple. It's about Scrum roles. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, several uh, several icons of Scrum roles. And for beginning, US facilitator should discuss with uh, group uh, what roles Scrum does have and put it at this uh, bigger free spaces. So after this, you should ask people to complete the puzzle. It works like this. Uh, you, you can see uh, a lot of green cars and a lot of free spaces. And uh, all of these uh, cards are attributes to some roles, some scrum roles. And you will ask people to complete the puzzle. They will put it into appropriate places. And after this, you, you and uh, group should discuss why is it it uh, in this place and what does it mean and uh, and uh, if you found some mistake just discuss uh, where it should be place it in the right position and discuss why it should be there so that's all that is about the role section the next section is scrum events it's uh, pretty similar to the previous step and as you can see you have uh, several uh, icons of the scrum events for example daily scrum retrospective sprint planning etc and as in previous uh, step you should place as facilitator this in the bigger free spaces yes so uh, uh, after this after discussing it with the group you, as in previous uh, step, should ask people to complete the puzzle, to complete these green, uh, these green cards to the appropriate places. Each uh, of the Scrum events has a lot of attributes and uh, all of these cards should be attach attached to some of these events. 
So after this, you should go through this course and discuss with people why this is uh, uh, why this is an attribute of the seventh. And if you found any mistake, you can check uh, mistakes in this facilitator's guide. If you found any mistake, you can discuss it uh, right now with the people and uh, put it into the right place. After completing, uh, that's all. This uh, step is finished and we can go to the next fourth step. Where to go? If you have any role, you should know at uh, what event you should visit. And as you can see, at roles we have a ro uh, at roles we have a roles. Uh, for example, product owners, scrum master, dev team, and stakeholders. And at columns you have uh, events: planning, daily scrum, sprint review, retrospective, and product backlog refinement, which is not definitely the scrum part. <laughs> and um, as you can see below this table, uh, we have a lot of uh, green cards, some of uh, yellow cards and few of uh, pink cards. And you should put uh, these cards, you should ask people to put these cards to the appropriate places. For example, when you should be at this, uh, at this event as Scrum Master, for example, sprint planning you should put the green card if you don't know and it de and depends on, on some circumstances you know uh, it may be yellow and if you should avoid this event uh, it should be pink yeah never visit it so after completing this uh, table with uh, group, you may discuss it and uh, go to the next step. The next step, as you can see, is about artifacts and transparency. Basically, uh, Scrum have uh, several artifacts such as increment, product backlog and sprint backlog. And uh, this is discussing discussing session. So you should discuss with uh, the team, with the group, uh, what is it, why uh, we need this, for what purpose it's, uh, it is in Scrum, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Check the facilitator's guides for some tips. And uh, another two things on this uh, step, it's uh, product backlog refinement and definition of done, which is a uh, good practices in uh, Scrum and uh, the, it's uh, designed for transparency purpose. So the task is the same, discuss why it's needed, uh, how does it work, what is it, what's the purpose and how it's uh, uh, help team to make be more transparent. Okay, that's uh, all. That is uh, all of the all of scrum puzzle details and after completing you can see the whole big picture of the scrum puzzle and uh, you can see all the parts of scrum you can jump to details you can fly to uh, the whole picture and uh, that's it your people knows what scrum that's all that was a scrum puzzle tool and uh, that's uh, all of this uh, details of Scrum. And uh, if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, uh, you know, you can directly ask us via email or maybe Facebook or even, you know, if you find us anywhere in the internet. So we, we will be very glad to, uh, to discuss with you, to answer your questions. So, you know, we are, we are very, very open and we are continue developing this tool so your feedback will be you know very valuable so thank you for watching this video thank you for using scrum puzzle thank you for using mirror verse and mirror and uh, good, good luck, luck and, <laughs> bye. Yeah, and yeah bye and scrum on bye yeah,